MCPE Toolbox has updated to 1.20.80 and today I'm showing you how to get it. So to get it you can click on the link down in the description below and that's going to bring you over to the Toolbox download page. Here you can click on the big blue install button and then it's actually going to start installing for you. As you can see it's not very big and the installation process should happen very quickly. So once you have Toolbox installed, as you can see I have it right over here, I can simply click on it just like so and what that's going to do is automatically open up Minecraft for me. As you can see here I am in Minecraft and I know it's working because I have the toolbox icon right up there. So as you can see here I am in a random Minecraft world and immediately as you can see we have a map. I have some black spots on the map because some parts are still loading in. Anyways this map is also configurable. You can click on the toolbox icon, which in my case is in the top left, and as you can see, we'll get a bunch of options. Some movement options, world options, render options, command options, and combat options. Then at the bottom, we also have the shortcuts over here, where we can set up shortcuts if we do wish to do so. Anyways, basically, you can also tap and hold on the toolbox icon, and that'll allow you to move it around, just like so. Anyways, by opening this up, I'll show you how to use all these. So you can click on them just like so and that's actually going to turn them on for you and you can click on them once again and that's going to turn them off. Now you can cycle through all of these different sections to find stuff that you want. In the render section over here you'll see that some stuff is automatically enabled. For example the radius, size, minimap and armor HUD. You can turn these off if you wish to do so as you can see and now if I exit out of here as you can see the minimap is gone. Going back into the toolbox menu you can go back over here and you can for example turn on zoom or other things in the render area. This render area also includes x-ray which brings us on to the most important parts. Right now I'll tell you just what the most useful utilities are so you can keep track of those. The x-ray is definitely one of the mo best ones. The free cam right here is as well. What this allows you to do is basically um, well move around whilst your character is stays in the same place. So you could be hiding underground for example but still go into spectator mode and look around. Then in the world area over here, there is some stuff like rapid build and the NBT editor, which are really useful. And then in the movement area, of course, there is flying, which is really useful, as well as the walk on water and the slow falling. Anyways, then in the shortcuts area over here, let's say I want to set up a shortcut for flying. I can click on that just like so, and that is going to enable it. You might also notice in the middle bottom over here we have a settings cog. These are the general toolbox settings. We have a question mark which is supposed to bring you to a help page but it doesn't go anywhere right now and also a link to toolbox's official discord server. By the way my official discord server will be linked down in the description below. Anyways as you can see once I have now turned on these shortcuts through this menu right over here. They will show up on the right hand side of my screen so I can enable them by simply tapping on them just like so which is really really useful. Now finally I'll go over this command section over here. Here you can add custom commands as you can see you can give them a name, you can give them the command and you can add some custom properties to them as well right there. Anyways basically sadly the commands aren't that extensive but they can be pretty useful. Anyways, for right now, basically, that was that. Sorry for my clunky movements, because I literally never play on Android. Um, but, oh well. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.